Hi. In this segment, we're going to talk about walking. Now, if you don't like to run, and I truly do not like to run, I never developed that runner's mindset that people say you develop that helps you to love running, that makes you addicted to running. I never got it. But walking is a great alternative for me. And it's easy to get started. You open up the door, you step outside, and you go. There's a lot, also a lot of health benefits to walking. People will talk about burning calories and losing weight, and those are two really good ones, but there's more to it than that. Walking helps you strengthen your bones. Walking will help you build endurance and improve your balance. And for fencers, those are two important traits. And if you do have a chronic condition like high blood pressure or high cholesterol or diabetes, walking is a great way to help you manage those conditions. But for me, I think one of the things I like the most is the, the de-stressing aspect of it. Sometimes I kind of feel a little bit bunched up from work. I feel like things are just weighing on me. I put on my music, I go out for a walk, and I can just feel all that lift right out of me. And it's a beautiful thing. There are times when I've had a problem at work or some kind of issue that I needed to come up with a solution for, and I was just getting stuck, and I would go out for a nice walk and sort of just unwind a little bit. And a lot of times before I was even back from the walk, I would have a solution to try or something to present. So, how do you get started walking? Uh, how do you maximize your walk? Well, for starters, get something, a nice pair of shoes that you're comfortable walking in. It doesn't have to be sneakers. Today I'll be walking in my hiking shoes and those are fine because they're comfortable to walk in. Uh, whatever, whatever works for you. It just, it's gotta be something you can go out there and move around in a little bit. Uh, activity tracker. Today I'll be using a uh, Garmin Vivo Sport, which has a heart rate monitor built into it. And it's really nice uh, because when I'm done with the walk, I can upload it to the Garmin Connect website and I'll have a list of all my activities and I can track my progress in various things. Uh, if you have a Fitbit, I think that will do the same thing for you. But I do like the aspect of having a heart rate monitor attached to it. So, set a pace. For me today, I'm going to try and do two miles in 35 minutes or less. So, but the important thing is you just want to remember it's a brisk walk. It's not a leisurely stroll. By all means, listen to some music, but do not have the volume turned up so loud that you cannot hear the car that's about to run you over or anything else that you may need to hear. Other than that, get out there and have some fun. Thank you.